Hold them up together. Yours might be a little bit bigger. <laughs> Fishing. I can't say anything else about that. <laughs> That's all you got, huh? It's an awesome little river, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, there's waterfalls everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a pretty cool place. So pretty. we're trout fishing in southern Oklahoma. The last time we were trout fishing, we were in Arkansas, Arkansas with Cole and Jay. Yeah. Uh, there are places to trout fish in Oklahoma. Yeah. This is actually uh, not a native. Um, place for the trout They're, these are all stocked by the state of oklahoma so they do this every year in the fall in the winter and people come in here in the by the groves and just catch all kinds of trout there's literally miles and miles and miles of river and some beautiful waterfalls so now i'm not a trout fishing expert so i called one actually uh rick haygood from some of you guys you have to go way back on our channel but some of our original Kiko does, our Kiko goats, came from Rick and Donna. It was called Copperhead Farms. They actually gave Houston, if you remember, Skip when she was a bottle baby, our little black goat. Anyways, he comes down here with his grandson and fishes a lot. I'm by no means a trout expert. I've caught a few a few trout. Here's the sad thing. This is We're only like 30, 45 minutes from home, and we almost never come over here. This will be the first time Houston's ever even been to this river. So... We're gonna get rigged up and see if we can catch some trout. Yeah. Watch out, Houston. Easy. Some of those ones that I was, I was seeing. Just pull him easy. You're not fighting a shark. Just reel him in. Kind of keep constant pressure on the tree. Looks like uh, we're going to have an easy day of fishing, Houston. That's true. We are going to have some fun, though, I'll tell you that. Hey, that's that's actually the first trout you've ever caught in Oklahoma. Yeah. yeah. But it's the first trout of my life. Yeah, you caught some with Cole and Jay in Arkansas earlier this year, huh? Yeah. It's a rainbow. You swallowed her, too, Houston. That's the that's thing about the floating baits. Because they will swallow them. Yeah, because you're not feeling them when they hit it. He's going to probably, we'll go ahead and stringer him. You never know how many we'll catch or anything else. By the way, y'all, make sure and have you some fish to eat, huh? Yep. All right, you ready to get another one? Yeah. I don't even know if I'm going to get to fish. You're catching them so fast, you and Keaton. I didn't bring the thing in there, I didn't hear. That gum, Keaton. Didn't even. We, didn't, we hadn't even got our poles in the water yet. Keaton got his first trout. Did we even get the brake set on the pickup yet? <laughs> Just barely. Here's how, hey, don't touch it, babe. Hang on a minute. If you don't mind me calling you, babe. That's what I call my grandson. Trout are a very delicate little fish. A lot of guys, they'll pick them up in their net, Keaton, and they never actually touch the fish, or they'll get their hands wet first. Uh oh, what's Houston got? Oh, Houston's got him a nice little stick bass or trout. Stick trout. My bait is done. I ate my bait. Now, Daniel, do y'all want to keep some fish? Or? Yes. Yeah, we're definitely going to eat a couple. I'm 
this in here as deep as he swallowed the hook. May have to go on a stringer. Yeah. Got one? Houston's on again. He said most of these will probably all be rainbows. They released a bunch of fish a couple days ago. Oh, you got him hooked in them. Oh, look at there, Rick's got one. He probably got him a monster over there. Mine's hooked in the mouth. That gum! Everybody but me. Hey, Houston. This one's just hooked in the very bottom of his lip so we're not going to keep this one not going to put him on a stringer how's yours hooked oh, yeah. did he swallow it if they swallow the hook we'll probably keep them we can only keep three fish per person okay well i don't want you to lip him okay let's let me just let me just release this one okay one that we're gonna keep, we'll let you hold and mess with, okay? They're kind of a kind of a tender little fish. We're gonna keep them alive as best we can. Yeah, right, Keaton. They're just really they're just really slimy. I know that. Oh yeah, he swallowed it. Got it. He didn't hurt that one either. He wasn't talking about you at all. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that a pretty little fish? Let's let this one go. We're not going to keep a bunch. We do want to do a little catch, clean, and cook action today. But we're not going to keep a ton. Uh-oh. Oh, there you go. He's all good. All right, Houston. Get you a fish. Catch another one. Yeah. Are you gonna you like throw it out there and get it on the hook for me? Okay, I don't have any space. I can't hear you when you mumble. <laughs> I'm not. I don't have any space. Don't have yeah. any space? What do you mean you don't have any space? Am I up in your space? Yeah. Okay. Well, find you a spot. Okay, I'm gonna go find me a spot. See if I can actually get a hook in the water before they have another fish on. Oh my God, <laughs> Liar. Keaton's on. Keaton's like the silent fisherman. I watched him set the hook on there and he reeled it for a couple seconds before he said, hey, I got one. He didn't want anybody to think he was hung up. Oh, you got a good one, Keaton. It's a nice one. Look at the color on that thing. That is pretty. Hold him up here. You got a nice one, dude. Hold the line. I'm going to take a picture. Yeah. The biggest one so far. These trout are strong little fish, man. They are stout. There you go. Look at that. Pretty little rainbow trout. Let this guy go. Off he goes.
crazy to me that we're really only like, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes from my house. I mean, this literally looks like a mountain river that should be in like Colorado or somewhere. It's such a cool river. This is a little bit different than uh, our creek at home, but a little bit bigger and a lot more waterfalls. It's dang sure pretty though. Point him to the left, you gotta go around that rock. Or right over the top of it. That's your biggest trout ever right there, buddy. At least in Oklahoma. That's a beautiful little rainbow trout. You gonna put him on the stringer? Yeah. Okay. We got our stringers marked. Got to put your name on them, but look what he used. Arms Family Homestead uh, ear tag. He's going on a stringer. I'm not worried about holding him. Okay. That's a big one, Dad. Catch, clean, and cook, right? Yeah. I wish I could get it mounted. Ah, uh, that's way too small to get mounted. These are not trophies. Houston got them, buddy. Oh, it's bigger. It's bigger? Yeah. Easy. Slow down. Slow down. Don't get in a rush. I don't want some little ones. No, the ones that I want to keep are the big ones, not the little ones. Let me reel mine up. Oh, looky here. Look how pretty that fish is though, Houston. Oh, that one's pretty. Hey, hold them up together. Yours might be a little bit bigger. <laughs> Look how much flatter mine is. Yeah, yours is just a little bit bigger. Hey, you got him barely hooked in the top of the mouth though, okay? I think mine, uh, mine might have swallowed mine just a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can get it out. I'm gonna release my little guy. I got him unhooked. Ooh. He gone. All right, Houston, you say you're keeping yours? Yeah, but well, we can put it on a different stringer. I only brought one with us over here. Oh. So unless you wanna walk back over there where Rick's at. No, I don't. Okay. I'm in the spot. Oh, yes, got him. I stole Houston's spot. Actually, I stole it from Keaton, really. It was only my second fish, but hey, I'll take it. That was our last bait. Now we gotta go back over there and get more bait. Dad, are we keeping that one? Well, that would make three on a stringer. I say we keep it. We worked, a, worked our butt off getting over here. I say we keep it. What do you think, Keaton? trying to lift him up to get him off the hook and my my line broke he's probably still got the hook in his mouth yep the, the hook actually broke not the line look at that i don't know if you can see it on camera see that keaton the hook broke what <laughs> we're keeping him though it's all right That's weird all right that was worth the trip over here for sure do you think you can carry it? Yeah. You're gonna fall off the cliff. Oh my god. Oh, oh I see what you did there. No. You wanted to switch. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess it was worth the uh the work getting over here to this spot, but oh my goodness, look at this river. Is this not the prettiest thing you've ever seen? My goodness. This is a creek life to the max right here buddy the weather couldn't be more perfect here we are mid-december well almost late december it's almost christmas well you guys will see this after christmas so i hope you had a merry christmas but uh it's like 60 degrees today you all right keaton 
get smacked in the face. This is such a cool spot though. And this is all public. That's what's awesome about it. Anybody can enjoy this kind of stuff. You don't have to own land to find beautiful places to fish. This is a public river. We fished till we ran out of bait. Oh, you did? <laughs> Oh, just missed him. I like this garlic bait. Before we went over there, you got two before. Yeah. I was just fishing the wrong side of the falls. I was fishing over here forever. And I could see fish hitting the water over here. But man, there's no way they're on the top side of the falls. Look here. I was wrong. I mean, these things aren't monsters. They're not giants. And they are hatchery fish. But man, aren't they just pretty? That is so cool. Not something I'm used to seeing. Trout aren't something I've uh, been super familiar with for much of my life. Man, they're pretty though. Got him. Oh, I got a good one, feels like. Houston's got one on downstream and I got one upstream. Come here, little guy. You got, you got another one? I caught two over there above the falls. I don't really want to keep a bunch, buddy. Okay. We just want enough to cook. Well, both of you got three on a stringer. We can only keep three per person by the laws, okay? So we're uh, we're gonna clean them up here on the river. All we're gonna do is just gut them. Just make a cut right, right down the gut. Take the guts out, cut the heads off, put them in a bag. And you guys said you wanted to take them home and let mom cook them in the kitchen, right? No, on a campfire down by the floor. Well, that sounded about a hillbilly right there, boy. Sounded like a redneck. <laughs> kind of All right, let's clean these fish. All right. So we're just gonna go in right there where he poops. <laughs> All the way up to the head. Are those eggs? No. Oh yeah, those are eggs right there. They got eggs. They got a, that one's got a lot of eggs in it, Houston. Look at all the eggs. Wow. Hey, this has eggs. What? Raccoons, they'll be around you close up. Yeah, can't fish it. Okay, we we made it home from trout fishing and now we're gonna go start fire at the fort. So we're fixing to make it down to the fort, but this is our bridge to get over the deal. This is our bridge right here. We have to walk on top of that. And it's supposedly easy. So we made it, boys. She's still intact, Keaton. Yep. Got windbreaker. Still holding up, Keaton. Let it just go for a second. Alright, 
right, so we're not going to do anything too fancy on the cook portion of this. Now, Houston and Keaton want to cook them on a campfire. So I went ahead, cut the uh, tails and, and fins off, scored them a little bit. Uh, actually, let me take it back. I did put two packages in the freezer, used that uh, vacuum sealer, and uh, got those put up. But anyways, we're gonna, just going to cook three. So I'm going to lather them with a little garlic butter with Parmesan cheese and basil. My wife gets this from Sam's. And then I'm going to put some Everglades fish and chicken on them, put them in that foil packet, and throw them on Houston and Keaton's campfire. Alrighty, like I said, we're not going too fancy. I'm just going to roll them up in this foil and let the boys throw them over the coals on their little fire that they're supposed to be building. I, I sent them down there to build a fire. Sent a GoPro with them, so there's no telling what we ended up with. But you guys will see it. Alright, fish in a full packet. Let's go cook them on a campfire. I got all the fish ready. Y'all got the fire ready, right? This way. Boy. So the answer is no. I don't see hardly any fire yet. What in the world, boys? Oh my goodness. We've been trying this whole time. And the whole time the wind has been blowing it out. I promise. Thought y'all were country boys. We are. I'm going to have to help y'all build a fire. Y'all got fire going, you were just killing it with leaves. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You got it going. Alrighty, we're getting close enough. We should have some hot coals here pretty soon. Let me throw a few more little sticks on here, but we'll be able to throw a full packet on top of there real quick. Belly, you want some trout? Hmm? You gonna eat lunch with us? You gonna eat the leftovers? Well, lunch is on the fire. It's warming up. Let's see a grand tour of the big survival shelter. Last time these folks saw it, it didn't have a front wall on it. Now it's got a doorway. You've uh, you got it pretty well closed in. It's kind of a, you know, when you're down low, it's still a little exposed. You know that, right? Hey, Earl. Yeah, just a little bit, but not much well i meant the sides you got to start working on the sides oh yeah he had an idea of putting like breaking branches off yeah like all those twigs he said so like when animals come through they'll get tangled up in it <laughs> while you're sleeping in it yeah well, i hope yes. you don't get caught in here with a raccoon mm -hmm. same All right, these have been on the fire for, I don't know, 15 minutes. Ooh, that foil's hot. I'm going to try to get them off of here without burning myself. Oof. At least set them on a rock to see what they look like. Well, they're busting open. They're definitely done. But we're going to let them sit and cool for a couple minutes because uh, I don't feel like burning my mouth. Do you, Bella? Well, my cooking seems to have attracted a crowd here. Oh, back up, Earl. This ain't y'all food. Huh? I said this ain't y'all food. All right, you girls. Y'all ready to... Get a plate. I brought some fine china down here. We got some we got some chips, paper plates, plastic forks. Better hurry. Bella's gonna try to get the first bite. Get back, dogs. Here's a plate. Let's see if we can get one out of here for you, Keaton. Put your plate down here. Here you can have that fork. Alright, let's see it. Official taste test time. Did I mess up your fish? No, it's delicious. If you peel the skin back, that, that meat should just fold right off the bone. <laughs> Earl wants a bite. 
You can have a body skin, but not the meat. All right, Houston, Keaton's got half of his eaten, so I need a taste test from you. I already did. Hey, it's good. Earl, get back, bro. That's not yours. How is it, Keaton? Delicious. Worth spending all morning going out and gathering? Definitely. <laughs> True and honest. Mm. I don't know what my wife would say. But Earl. <laughs> Earl can't stand not getting to eat any. Oh my goodness. This is so good. I know it is. It's, it's mm. That trout just flakes right off those bones. I mean, the whole rib cage. Oh my goodness. So good. Try to get it on the fire, dude. I am. Put the fire out, okay? We don't want it getting away when we leave. All right? Yep. Safety first. Yep. You guys probably don't even know Smokey the Bear, do you? I do. You know who Smokey the Bear is? Mm -hmm. Okay. He said, only you can help prevent forest fires. Yeah. You and the Donkey Poodle Ranch people. <laughs> well, there you have it. Trout catch, clean, and cook in the woods. Done. That was kind of fun. I had a great time. I know the boys had a good time. Houston's been on me about wanting to do some camp out videos or some survival videos or just just like that his little shelter they're working on and building a fire and cooking some fish in the woods it was so much fun it was a great time a little bit different flow of the video a little bit different style of video uh let me got let me uh, you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section should we do more stuff like this um it's fun it's easy it's a great time and uh i don't know the boys had so much fun out there at the river catching those trout and they were dang sure bound and determined to come back and cook those over an open fire so it was fun anyways guys that's all i've got for today thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it y'all have a great day and as always we'll see you on the next video mm -hmm.